This is Twit. This week, Sony announced two new cameras in their Alpha series, the A7 and the A7R. They're essentially the same camera with a very minor difference. But what it is is the first mirrorless. Now, most uh, I'm going to explain this, Chris, and then I'm going to ask you what you think. But, <laughs> yes. but let me just run through this. Most uh, digital SLRs, single, SLR stands for single lens reflex, and the idea is when you look through the viewfinder, you're actually looking through a mirror out through the lens. So you see exactly what the lens is seeing with an SLR. Then you press the button. The mirror has to pop up. That's that big chunk. Take the picture, and then it pops back down again. Um, mirrors add a lot of bulk to a camera, a lot of complexity to a camera. They slow it down. It's a big deal. It's, a, it's a, as you might imagine, a mechanical engineering feat. Well, we're starting to see, and we've started to see a lot of mirrorless cameras. Instead of having optical views through the lens, they use a little video camera that takes a picture and sends that up to the viewfinder so you're it's not quite as high a quality but you still are seeing what the lens sees but you're seeing a video of what the lens sees instead of optically what the lens sees that does make the camera simpler believe it or not and it certainly makes it smaller when we uh, when we, we took our vacation we took the olympus omd camera which is a micro four thirds camera this is probably the most common mirrorless format but sony's been making its own mirrorless cameras the nex line that are very high quality. They have nice big sensors, bigger than the Micro Four Thirds, APS-C sensors. So what did Sony announce this week? They announced their Alpha line, which is their top of the line cameras, will now have full frame sensors. That means as big as these, you know, Canon 5Ds and the Nikon D3 and all of that, full frame sensors. That's what pros want and still mirrorless design. And people are going crazy. My friend Trey Ratcliffe, who's uh, become a big mirrorless advocate, and he said he's trading everything in for the A7R. Uh, Michael Reichman at uh, Luminous Landscape, another very famous landscape photographer, said this is the best camera ever. People are going crazy. Is it is is it really is this trouble for Nikon and Canon? There, there's some potential for that. There's clearly some potential for this that. Is very this interesting. Is a, this is a huge big thing. This is. Uh, what do you think? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I you hear can. you, but do you not hear me? I do hear you. Yes. Oh, okay. It is. It's, it's it's finally at a point where you we can take these uh, big DSLRs and and at least to to a certain extent dump them because um, that's one of the things that has stopped me go to go for a mirrorless system is the sensor size. I'm a full format guy. I shoot bigger formats as well. So it, the, the the size of a Micro Four Third sensor was one of the reasons, believe it or not, that that kind of kept me, helped me back from going that direction. And now with the A7 and a, the A7R, I mean, we're talking, we're talking decent pixel amounts, 24 megapixels and 36 megapixels. Um, I'm not sure about sports shooting with the A7. We're talking five frames per second and some, some sports shooters might need some more of that. Um, that's what uh, I think From somebody, maybe Michael Reichman or uh, uh, um, my friend Trey Ratcliffe said, if you're going to shoot sports or birds, you might want to stay be with a bit your Nikon. With those, yeah. But for a lot of other people, the, si the reduced size, and he says, uh, Trey says, it's the coming of computational photography. Oh, there, there's a lot of that going on. I mean, especially with the camera with that. I mean, what you're looking at is the lens sitting really close to the sensor now. There's not much space between the lens and the sensor. So the angle of those light beams going into the corners of the sensor, they're, they're pretty much at a very, very shallow angle. And that in turn will, will be a problem or is a bit of a problem because then the, those light beams get darker in the corner. So you get vignetting, you get these darkening of the corners. And there's a lot of computation going on to kind of counterbalance that and counterbalance the distortion in lens and these kind of things. So there's a lot going on under the hood to make those pictures look really good. Yeah, and one of the things, things that excited these high-end photographers is the fact uh, that it can use Leica M series lenses. <laughs> in, in many ways, it's like a Leica M camera with a Sony. I mean, speaking of price, uh, the, the Leica M9, that's a full-frame camera. What is that, 20 mirror, grand? But but we're talking, nah, not quite as much. But, well, with a decent lens, yeah, probably in that range. But with the <laughs> A7, A7R, we're talking, I think, 700 or two up to two, two and a half thousand 
dollars. Yeah, I think, I think. it's uh, so, twenty three hundred dollars in the U.S. Yeah. Or twenty three hundred. Yeah, twenty one hundred euros. Yes. Yeah. I immediately, by the way, ordered it. It won't be out till December, <laughs> but the sooner you order it, the sooner you 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 know you can get in line for it. Uh, One interesting thing they put in there is you have two different kinds of menus. If you're used to the next system, you can use a next like uh, in, um, um, menu. If you are used to the to Canon's SLRs, you can use a menu that's like their SLR. So uh, in that sense, it's a bit like the current Windows, which is trying to be everything. Uh, <laughs> but at least you have a choice there. Um, the one thing I'm kind of a bit concerned about, I would I would love to use that as a street photography camera because it's very inconspicuous so small, and you. Yeah. Yeah, but apparently the the shutter is really loud. So yeah. I'm not sure what's going on there. So yeah, I heard, I read that too. Big click. It's not exactly Big stealthy. Big clunk. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have to see for that. Maybe, maybe they come up with little blimps that you can put them in, and then you can't hear them. I, I don't think know. I think the point really is that that uh, mirrorless full frame is what people have been waiting for. It really puts mirrorless on the map for pros. And I, serious, I think it does. Yeah. Serious amateurs. And um, and this and you know if you've ever carried around a Nikon, well a Canon 5D or worse a Nikon uh, D3, these things are massive. They're heavy. They're big. They're totally conspicuous, especially with the lens on there. Uh, and so that's why we carried the OMD on our vacation. It didn't look like. First of all, you're not a target for getting ripped off. But it also, looks like it was an analog camera, right? Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like you're some, some nitwit using a you know a f an old film camera from 1962. They, nobody looks at you. So I'm very excited about this. I think uh, full. I do miss full frame. That's why the Micro Four Thirds was a little less than satisfying. So I'm excited about this. The the camera's not cheap. I agree. Uh, that's twenty three hundred dollars minus a body, uh, a lens. That's just the body. Yes. But the images I've seen with this thing are, are kind of mind-boggling. But is you will be able to adapt a lot of bigger lenses right. to that. So the, if you have lots of Canon or Nikon lenses, you should be able to get adapters right. and use those lenses. That's what they on say, that. yeah. 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 Uh, so do you think this is a revolution? I, I, it, at least a huge step forward. I yeah. mean, yeah. Uh, it, it, as you said, it puts that, that full-frame thing on the map for professionals, I think. Yeah. So um, I'm almost ready to click that buy button now <laughs> well i figured i could click it and back out later but i wanted to get in line it's true <laughs> in fact i am kind of talking to a lot of people saying should i should i should i get it